Okay, these two mounts uh, gave me problem because they cannot be locked in. So I bought these um, um, track screws so that I can push it in here and I can lock it in very, very securely. So these are the the new uh, adapter that's going into the track. It's specifically designed for the track, as you can see here. And uh, that's what I have underneath there for those two as well. In other words, underneath these two are actually these guys. These adapters that go into here and then as you screw down, it will lock in very, very tight. Um, so, and as you can see, this one is pretty bad. So I'm gonna take it apart and uh, replace it with those two guys. Well, this one and this one replace with those two. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, would not be locked in so I have to replace it with these uh, things uh, these rectangular shape uh, adapter to be able to lock it in there so that's the improvement that project there so I'm gonna do that as you can see the screw that came with the adapter the thread uh, the screw is too small for my transducer arm the PVC pipe so I have to rethread um, the adapter so that it will fit my bigger screw here okay so that's uh, what I'm going to Harbor Bray uh, tab tab um, tab tool to do this. Threading of this. Uh, so as you can see, this screw is not going to be able to thread it through because what's in there is the fine thread instead of this coarse thread. So I'm going to use my tab to tap into this hole to re-thread it for the course. Then I'll be able to um, fit this longer screw into this adapter. Okay. So the going to put the tap and die tool to good use. All right, here is the Pittsburgh Harbor Fray, the tap and die tool set. And... Uh, I'm just uh, taking out the tool here and uh, I'm trying to find the course this is the tab handle which I need and I'm just trying to find the course uh, so over on the left hand side is the course tab which is this guy here the smallest one and um, over on this side is the fine tab so I'm not sure what happened to this guy here why is it missing and what happened to these two? Oh, one is in here or about this one or this one. Well, okay, so first thing first, this is the course. You can see the screw matches the tab here. So I'm going to use this and tab this. 
but before I do that I want to unscrew this and put the die cutter back in there or here so where's my Phillips screwdriver there we go Okay, this is not the... There we go. You gotta have the right tool. So where do we put this little tiny screw? I don't want to come out. Here we go. Came out. So I'm going to use my table clamp to clamp this down. And then here's my course. All I have to do is just turn, make sure the square is in, and then I just turn this, turn the knob on this side to lock it into that, uh, that square thing, as you can see there. Here we go. So, now I just started, now I just start to thread. The initial thread is the hardest. Once you get the thread going, then it's, as you can see here, do it slowly and you face resistance and you cannot thread anymore. Just back off. As you can see there, the shards are coming out. You can see? Shards are coming out. Okay, good. That's it. to that uh, adapter mount the, mount it onto the tire. you see this now shredded very nicely you know see this does work this hopper freight um, tab thing is pretty Handy. Can do a lot of thread. Okay. Now I can thread this thin and uh, just like that. I think I should put a uh, washer here. Continue to have the washer here, but also another washer up here because look, it's biting into the PVC pipe, and I don't want this PVC pipe to eventually break. So I'm going to add a uh, protection here. Let me go get the protection.
Okay, I added a washer between the screw and the and another washer underneath it and then the adapter. So now all I have to do is just to slide this into there just like that and now I can lock it down. Hopefully this will work better. As you can see here, it's already blocking, yeah. Yeah. There we go. So that's already locking. That's one improvement. The other one is over.